In this video, we are going to discuss the data processing with the Delta Live tables. Basically, we will uh, see the how Delta li Delta Live Table framework will work, how we can process the data from the uh, source to the target. So, uh, this is a uh, uh, overview of the Delta Live tables. Okay, Delta Live tables is a declarative framework designed to make your data pipelines uh, uh, more efficient. It handles the many operations uh, aspects like orchestration. Uh, cluster management monitoring and this all you have to focus on the logic of your data processing pipelines the main benefits of the uh, delta live uh, tables are like a, it is a reliable and a maintainable and testable and pipelines so and also it manages the it manages the orchestration cluster management monitoring and more so the next uh, slide is uh, delta live table data sets so basically there are three uh, delta live table data sets um, uh, which is a streaming tables, materialized views and views. Okay, so this uh, letter level tables use the different types of the data sets to manage your data. Streaming tables are, uh, are, are a, streaming tables are great for data sources that are appended only. The materialized views are capture the changes and allow for various transformations. And views are like a, it's provide dynamic transformation and checks the data. If you want to uh, avoid the data storage on your, your physical location, so then you can use the views okay and materialized views are like it's a it's a continuous data processing if you want to capture the uh, updated records or uh, deletion records from the source if you go with the materialized views streaming tables are like it's a process the each record only one for append the only sources okay. the next uh, slide is uh, data live table expectations so uh, the expectations uh, are very crucial uh, feature of the delta live tables they allow you to apply the data quality checks to your records. Each expectation has a description for the tracking um, a condition to e evaluate the data quality and action to take when the issues are de uh, detected. So basically there are um, three components uh, of the uh, expectation. So one is a Boolean statement and the action, right? Uh, and the description. The description is like a unique identifier for the tracking and monitoring the boolean statement is uh, like it's evaluating the condition whether the condition is true this, this statement return the true otherwise it will return the false so there are uh, there is a action actions are like a, there are three actions so, so based on the condition uh, you have to define the uh, action like other you have to warn the default warn is the default drop or fail and invalid records so we will talk about the actions more detail in the next slide so this is the expectation actions um, so you have three action to choose from the when expectations are not met uh, basically uh, when the condition is not met when the data quality is not met right so you have to ch choose any one of these action okay the first one is warn uh, basically when you are uh, when the record criteria the condition is not met right so you have to write the invalid records to target with the metric reporting if you want to write the invalid records even though there is condition is failing so you can choose this one action and um, and then what happened the invalid records uh, it's writing into target system but it will uh, also write into the metric reporting okay so next action is a drop drop basically exclude the invalid records before data set is written with the metric reporting so this drop statement drop action basically it will totally avoid it will not it will not allow to write the records into the target system and fail is basically to prevent the updated from the succeeding and uh, so it will stop the your entire pipeline so based on that criteria and you have to come and see what is the issue and you have to you have to restart that uh, pipeline again to process the data okay so with this we can start the demo so let me uh, let me go to the uh, databix uh, workspace here so i went to work uh, I, I went to the workflow and i choose the delta live tables here okay so now i will uh, start creating the pipeline Okay, before creating the pipeline, um, I created this uh, DLT demo one notebook. Okay. Okay, this is a uh, um, Medellin architecture here. So Medellin architecture is nothing but a multi-hop architecture. So this is defined the data quality. So, so if you see, uh, there are three layers in the Medellin architecture. One is a bronze layer, a silver layer and a gold layer. The bronze layer basically is a randomization and history. So it is kind of the replica of the your source system. Whatever uh, so data having, uh, whatever data is available in the source system, right? Source table, same thing replicated into the bronze layer. 
So after that, you will uh, transform the data, you will filter the data, you have to clean the data and you will put into the silver layer. That is like a sub-cleaned data. Okay. After that, there is one more layer, gold layer. In this layer, you will aggregating the data. You are, this is uh, mainly used for the business consumption like a streaming analytics, uh, BI and reporting and data science and ML. Okay. So now we will we will uh, implement these three layers into the, our notebook uh, in the, our use case, data use case, Delta pipeline use case, sorry. Okay, next one is, uh, if you see the my notebook, right, I'm creating the one sales order raw table uh, from this location, Databricks uh, data set retail org sales, uh, sales orders here. Okay, and uh, this is the one of the uh, raw table I'm creating and one more uh, customer table I'm creating. This is a, both are like a, a bronze uh, tables, okay. So if you see the uh, quality table for this quality is mapping. Also, yeah, once it is done, um, after this is done, I'm creating the one more table is the sales orders cleaned. This sales order clean, sales orders clean table is deriving from these two tables, customers, customer table, sales order table, joining the two tables based on joint condition, like a customer ID, customer name here. Okay, this is like a clean uh, table, sales are a clean table. This is this this data set at the silver uh, silver layer. Okay, if you see, we are we are uh, formatting the uh, date, order date time, and order date. Order date here. We we are generating uh, two columns uh, from the order date. One is order date and order date time, and also we are joining the two data sets. This is a, like a clean data, and after that, we are creating the one more. Uh, two more tables one is sales order in uh, sales order okay and one more is the sales order chicago here okay these two tables at the uh, at the uh, gold layer okay so this is uh, nothing but we are doing the art group by so we are doing the group by and trying to find out the sales quantity product count uh, based on the order date city customer id customer name and order products explored okay and uh, so i am creating the two tables one for the chicago one for Los angeles here Okay, this is at the goal layer. Okay, now uh, what I will do, I will uh, pass this uh, uh, notebook as a source code to the my uh, Delta live table pipelines. Okay, let me create the pipeline here. I will give the pipeline name is a sample demo. So I will select the core here. Uh, into the pipeline name and production uh, product edition, right? Uh, if you see, all right, uh, th these are the options. So this this option based on the your uh, DLT core and DLT core put on. If you select the DLT core, right, you will get the DLT core put on. Okay, but this uh, if you choose this option. Your cluster easy is build scalable streaming or batch pipeline with the SQL and Python. Okay, if you choose the DLT Pro Pro Python, right? It is easily scalable and batch pipelines in the SQL and Python, and also it will capture the um, CDC changes. Okay, if you select the DLT Advanced, this is very advanced features. It will it will do the CDC changes and maximize your data credibility with the quality expectation and monitoring. Okay, so in the real time situations uh, scenarios, you have to choose the DLT Advanced. Uh, uh, portal okay but my use case i'm just selecting dlt in the pipeline mode uh, so the pipeline mode nothing but it's a two options in the pipeline mode one is trigger mode and continuous mode so if you see the option right the trigger mode basically it will trigger it only once and it's a, it's a, it's a mainly and scheduled based okay so it will process all the available data once and it will stop the cluster the pipe the continuous mode basically pipeline keeps on always running the cluster that ingest new that ingest the new data as it survives. So this property can be changed as your requirement evolve, right? So if you want to uh, ingest the data continuously from the source side, from source system side, you can go with the continuous and you can define the batches. So like a, you uh, you want to extract the data from five seconds, ten seconds, twenty seconds based on the requirement, you can go with the continuous. But ticket is uh, like it's a schedule basis. You want to schedule the job daily or um, or uh, every four hours, every eight hours, right? So ticket is the best option okay so trigger basically is process it data will process it completely and it will stop the cluster okay so next one is the source code uh, you have to choose your uh, uh, notebook okay where your uh, uh, code is available let me uh, click on this uh, browse option let me go to the user okay 
now uh, i will choose the storage option is the health store okay and uh, storage location um, so the relation if you leave it blank it will uh, store directly into the dbfs or uh, as of now uh, files or uh, target tables here okay let me copy this one let me go to the data pipeline so i will choose this uh, s3 location as a storage location uh, s3 location as a storage location here let me copy paste here so target schema uh, i will uh, so if you see that so see the target data because you want to publish your data tables into the meta store so i want to uh, publish this tables into the meta store so let me choose my target schema as a demo here okay and uh, the cluster policy i don't have any cluster policy let me keep it none uh, and uh, cluster mode right so cluster mode uh, you see there are three options enhanced auto scaling uh, legacy auto scaling and fixed size okay so what is enhanced auto scaling so if you see the databricks uh, documentation right enhanced auto scaling is uh, optimize the cluster utilization by automatically allocating the cluster resources based on the uh, workload uh, workload value and with the minimum with the minimal impact to the data passing uh, latency of your pipelines so basically enhanced auto scaling is a very useful feature so it will uh, optimize your cluster performance so it will uh, scale out uh, it will uh, add the resources to the your data pipeline based on your workload it will decrease the resource also based on your workload so this it's a very useful to cost optimization and also improve the performance okay so that's why uh, in the real time situation you have to choose the uh, Cluster mode is enable auto auto scaling. Right now, I will go with uh, fixed size, and workers uh, will keep it one. Okay, and this is the uh, use pattern oscillation. Uh, oscillation. So this pattern oscillation uh, modern Apache Spark workloads, reducing your total cost per workload. This is related to the Apache Spark feature. Okay, so and you had to choose the instance profile also. So let me choose my instance profile is Databricks IAM role. Okay, you can if you want to add the tags, so just add the tags here, and also uh, there is option if you want to add the notifications. So if you want to uh, trigger the email based on the uh, status of this pipeline, like a success or, or failure and fatal failure uh, on the flow failure, right? So based on this action, so uh, the mail will be triggered to the corresponding users or user groups here. Okay, this use this. Uh, feature is very helpful to uh, track the loads, so like a talk mandatory the loads. So okay let me click on the create now let me click on the start okay uh, it's uh, it's creating the resources on my aws uh, account it's initializing now initializing So uh, I think I got the issue here. Um, the issue is uh, saying that I mentioned the sales order raw table uh, twice, uh, the SQL scripts twice into the my uh, notebook. That's why it's saying that you cannot re redefine the data set. So um, I, I removed that. So now let me refresh this uh, pipeline again. Let me start. Refresh. Refresh. Okay, it's initializing now. Okay. Okay, it's filled again. Send that. Uh, 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 this pipeline, uh, this table. Uh, Sales are the clean have the expectation set. So please edit your preference to edition advanced in order to use the data quality checks. So if you want to use the data quality checks, uh, the pipeline settings should be advanced. Okay. Let me go to the settings. Uh, for advanced here. Okay. This is the issue. Let me save it. let me start now let 
it's resetting the tables uh, i think some of the tables are already created right so now it's setting up the tables uh, i think this time it's going fine okay you see entire uh, uh, the Madeleine architecture is created now uh, okay uh, this is the uh, the bronze layer uh, like a raw data raw table customers and sales order raw. and this is the uh, uh, silver layer silver table silver layer and you see data flow is coming from the two table to raw folder customers and sales order and it is it is cleaning into the computer cleans and it is again um, crossing into the materialized views here right so it is running uh, Okay, now it is completed. All the pipelines are completed. See, uh, let me go to the my target location. Uh, yeah, let me refresh it. Okay, you see, uh, auto loaders, uh, checkpoints, um, uh, folders created, and let me go to the tables. So tables also created. Customer and sales orders clean. Sales order. These are the two uh, folders are related to the. Uh, the bronze layer bronze layer tables uh, and uh, sales order clean nothing but silver layer and sales order LA and sales order Chicago nothing but uh, gold layer so all uh, so we successfully um, return the data to the s3 location as a delta delta table here okay we uh, and also we successfully execute the delta live table pipelines and we implemented this in uh, medallion architecture here okay so and uh, if you select the any one of the table icon right here you see uh, this is a very detailed uh, you can you can see the detail of that table is streaming tape type is a streaming table and source code is this is a my notebook path uh, and this target table is sales uh, demo dot demo nothing but schema sales orders clean status is completed successfully and uh, start time duration comment right and if you see the data quality checks you can see right this is a uh, uh, expectations you see uh, expectations um, the valid order number if the valid order number if order number is null right so we have we are going to drop those records as of now uh, there is no failed records zero failed records here um, so all the records are processed successfully means all the records are having the order number and the schema uh, you see uh, it is it is listing out all the column names and uh, data types here and flows uh, it is flow id Flow type is incremental. Flow state is completely successfully. Start time and duration. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh